are you epic badasses? Alicia here from Vert Vixen Studios and welcome to my series on digital sculpting for cosplay and costume creations. If 3D seems like a big scary monster to you, don't worry. I'm here to help you understand the basics and feel comfortable integrating 3D sculpting and printing into your workflow. More and more people are becoming interested in 3D printing and creating their armor digitally when it comes to costume creation and cosplay. In this video, we'll go over some basic concepts when it comes to 3D modeling with a focus on digital sculpting. Check the link above to see how companies like Legacy Effects have used this for both 3D printing and digital effects in your favorite movies and commercials. Well, Alicia, there are plenty of 3D modeling programs out there. Why should I use a program like ZBrush? Great question, Mr. Dragon. Well, ZBrush is just one of many amazing 3D tools that are out there today. Companies like Weta, ILM, and Legacy Effects use them to create both digital and physical effects for film. Digital modeling? 3D sculpting? Please, explain. Well, let's hop into the world of 3D and why don't I show you while I explain. All right, welcome to 3DS Max. This is one of several 3D programs that exist out there. Now, 3D modeling is the process of developing graphics that appear to have three dimensions. You create a 3D object in 3D software by manipulating uh, polygons, AKA faces. Let's make this an edible poly. There you go, so this guy right here, edges all these little lines right here and or vertices now all of this is done in a simulated 3d space i mentioned earlier how there are several 3d programs out there well that being said different programs do different things 3d design software sits in two basic categories cad and 3d modeling CAD software like AutoCAD or Fusion 360 are amazing for creating functional or mechanical parts. 3D modeling is more what I do and includes programs like Blender, Autodesk 3ds Max, and Maya, as well as ZBrush. Let's break this down even further and consider ZBrush a digital sculpting program. That being said, it's really important to state that no matter what program you're in, you're still manipulating points in 3D space. All right, well, I guess there's a ton of things I need to learn on 3D modeling, apparently. Yeah, but don't be turned off by this. There are plenty of tutorials online that can help you learn this software. In fact, all the software I mentioned before, they have their own tutorials on their website. You can check them out in the description below. All right, cool. Well, I guess I can learn a ton of stuff from these tutorials, but why don't you tell me a little bit more about ZBrush? Well, Let's jump inside ZBrush and I can show you why I think the program is so powerful. Blue good do, we can too. Is that too corny? All right, everybody, welcome to ZBrush. Now this is one of my favorite programs, not biased at all. Uh, but let me just cover this real fast that my UI may look a little different from yours. And that is because I have a custom UI setup. Um, I will be going over a tutorial where I talk about my custom UI in a future video. But for now, let me show you why I think this program is so powerful. Now you see here we have a cylinder here and you can see all of the faces on this because this cylinder is uh, pretty low poly, especially to sculpt on. You can see our active points here are only 482. So if I were to try to sculpt on this, kind of stuff is happening, but really, that's not, that's not pretty. That's not what we want. So now if I subdivide this under geometry divide, you can also hit control D several times here. You can see now how much smoother the mesh is and how much higher our points are. If we look at the wireframe here, we can also visually see how many more polys exist. And now watch what happens when I sculpt on it this time. 
you can see that now we have the ability to work with this like it's clay, which is why I freaking love this program. Here are just a few of the things that I have created using ZBrush and well, 3D modeling in general. Really with ZBrush, you can go pretty ham. And for me, it's been a life saver, allowing me to work with 3D like it's clay. So we covered some 3D basics and a little bit of ZBrush, but what else is this video series gonna cover? Everything. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about ZBrush basics, including user interface, uh, how to customize your user interface, and how I set mine up for efficiency. I'll also be covering some of my personal favorite tools, as well as some extremely useful tools like DynaMesh and ZRimesh. We'll cover armor sizing and proportions digitally, creating a generalized armor block out for you to start off of, how you too can get a super clean mesh to sculpt your armor on, creating trim, filigree runes, and other sweet armor details. Also, we'll be covering my favorite thing, creating those awesome damage effects on your model. And finally, we'll, be, we'll talk about going from ZBrush to print. If you have a suggestion for a video you wanna see, make sure to leave it in the comments. Huge shout out to Cost Armor and Props for making this amazing laser cut Vert Vixen Studio sign. If you wanna see more of his work, check out his link in the description below. I am so excited to be making this video series on digital sculpting for cosplay and costume creation for you guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below because a new video for this series will be dropping every week. If you wanna support this channel, please consider checking out my new Patreon launching December 1st. And finally, I work live. That means that you can watch me anytime on twitch.tv slash vertvixen. That was a lie on my scheduled times. You guys can watch me work live. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am so excited to finally bring this series to you guys. And as always, make sure that you stay badass.